Welcome back and over the latest uh, uh, precautions taken and also the latest developments concerning COVID-19 pandemic with us live over the phone is Dr. Awad Tagedin, Presidential Consultant for Health Affairs. Uh, good morning, Dr. Tagedin. Good morning. How are you doing, sir? I am fine, thank you very much. Uh, we were talking about the latest developments concerning uh, how the world is going to face the second wave of COVID-19. And there were talks about releasing uh, a vaccine. If you could give us uh, um, uh, um, an explanation or if you could uh, explain to us more about the latest uh, coming uh, from that particular front. Uh, up to now, still, we have increasing number of the cases all over the world, including our country. Uh, but the number of uh, in Egypt is not so high. Mm. But still, we have uh, a gradual increase in the number of the reported cases uh, infected with this virus. And as you see, all over the world, the problem is, uh, uh, is high. The spread is high. And also, the number of the recorded cases uh, is in, uh, are increasing and the number is increasing and also the number of mortality is still high. Right. Uh, and uh, up to now, up to this moment, the only procedures we have is are the preventive measures, uh, which is already published and uh, you know how can we prevent the spread of uh, this virus. The virus is very infectious, uh, the virulence is high, and uh, also the number of the cases infected from a uh, positive case ranged between three or four cases. So that up to now, uh, I, I, would call, I will give you some data about the vaccines, but up to now, the only precautions uh, which is uh, effective in prevention of the spread of the disease uh, are the masks, number one, and uh, also the uh, methods of very simple methods to clean the hands and the face and also the distance, what, was, what we call social distance, all of these measures are very important. Dr. And my recommendation for mm. old ages, uh, mm. please, if you have no, no urgent uh, yeah, indications to go outside home, mm. I, I believe the best, uh, best preventive measure for you is to stay home. Dr. Tegi Dean, of course, m most of the people worldwide are very much aware of the precautionary measures and the steps, but still there are some misconceptions about specific uh, notions or parts of awareness, like is it transferred, how, how intense is that the second wave, the, the transmission of uh, the pandemic, how uh, is it transmitted uh, through uh, touching things, is it uh, transmitted more uh, through um, uh, connection with people, close connection, uh, are animals transferring it? And it was proven by the WHO that animals do not transfer the COVID-19 except for one species of animal, and that was in Holland. Uh, uh, these are very specific uh, measures that should be uh, put on a uh, table with uh, transparency to all the people. Uh, is the Excuse Ministry me, of Health the, doing the, those so? Definitely, definitely. Uh, the, the infection between, from person to person is the highest measure of infection. Mm. This is the, the, the definite method of transmission of any viral infection, including the coronavirus infection. So that transmission from infected man or to another person, this is the definite. And as I told you a few minutes ago, the transmission, one, one infected person can infect from between three and four other persons. Mm. And then we have the infected four person will infect 16 persons. So that the, the, the definite method of transmission is from person to person. And that's why we insist in all our comments that uh, masks are very important to prevent the spread of the disease. Uh, also, if the droplets of the infected person without mask goes to any, any item uh, in the home or in the public areas, uh, it can infect other persons. So that the transmission of infection is well known, and uh, the transmission from animals to humans or the reverse, uh, it's not absolute and not uh, definite up to now, mm. but we must take our precautions because the animals harbor, even the infection, this coronavirus is coming from animals, so that 
uh, its transmission to animals or from animals, it may be still still we uh, we have to do many researches to but be not sure confirmed, from that. But, but it's not method confirmed. Method of transmission is definite. But not confirmed by the WHO because this is definite. I mean, it's not this confirmed. Is, this is observation, mm. uh, so that we must take our precautions. Mm. Uh, WHO uh, recording the published data or the published observations or literatures but uh, it needs a long time to confirm uh, this problem. But all the releases that were released from John Hopkins University, they confirmed that it's not transmitted through pets at homes. Uh, we should take precautions just like everything else, like you kindly yeah. mentioned, uh, contacting uh, with people. This and is published data from uh, John Hopkins University, mm. but as I told you, you must take your precautions. Exactly. Because we know, we know the bird's flu, and the, which is also viral infection, and also we know other diseases which are transmitted from animals. Of course, but not that particular one. But, but in general, what type of awareness should the media and the Ministry of Health should be focusing on right now? I mean, the uh, 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 precautionary measures, the utmost precautionary, of course, in addition to the mask and the gloves and everything. But some people yeah, this like... Is, this is the best precautions. Mm. And the other precautions, if anybody, because now we have overlap uh, between the seasonal influenza infection Yes. And uh, the uh, coronavirus infection, which, uh, which are similar in many points, so that we must take our precautions. Any person who is infected by any viral infection, mm. they must stay home and they must take treatment. And they must be, must be also isolated because the seasonal influenza is infectious, like the coronavirus infection. Mm. And it can be transmitted from the infected person to other persons, so that uh, tight precautions and the mm. tight awareness of this point is very important. Uh, Dr. Awad Tagidin, you are a presidential consultant for health uh, affairs. Thank you so much, sir, and you have a beautiful, safe day. Thank you so Thank much, you. and I guess um, uh, same here. And I guess uh, with this uh, uh, final item, we come to the end of uh, the breakfast show for today. Many thanks to all of you, and until we see you again uh, tomorrow morning with a new team, that's uh, goodbye.